What's up everybody, it's your boy CB back at you with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be going over how you can get PC audio on Fortnite mobile. But before I get into the video, if you could please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you would like to stay up to date with everything Fortnite mobile, news related and tips and tricks as well. It means a lot to us and with that out of the way, let's get into the video. What PC audio does is it lets you hear where everything is, but with a spatial reference. So you'll kind of be able to hear how far away things are and in what direction they are. And I think that's very helpful for a lot of different reasons. The biggest reason I think it's a big advantage to use PC audio is you will be able to hear crouch walkers. And I know for me personally, I've died to so many crouch walkers and that was the biggest reason I started testing out PC audio to see how I liked it. And from my experience, you'll be able to hear crouch walkers without much difficulty if you're using PC audio. I also think it looks much cleaner than seeing all the visuals on your screen for gameplay, for people watching you streaming, that kind of stuff because as you can see with my gameplay here, the screen is just less cluttered because when there's like a bunch of footsteps and shots in a bunch of different directions, it just is kind of a hectic mess. And when you're using PC audio, there's none of that on your screen. It's honestly kind of distracting when there's so many different footsteps and stuff. And with PC audio, you'll hear what's around you, what's kind of important and near you, and there won't be all these visual stuff that's distracting you. The only thing you really need in order to use PC audio is a decent pair of gaming headphones. And when I say decent, I mean really just any pair of headphones that'll give any kind of decent sound quality. Doesn't need to be good at all. Personally, I bought a pair of gaming headphones off of Amazon for a little over $20, and there were even less expensive options. With the newer devices, there isn't a headphone jack either, so there might have to be Bluetooth headphones like mine were. But yeah, any kind of decent pair of headphones will probably work fine for this. In order to get the PC audio, all you have to do is go into your settings and then go in to the settings that have the little speaker thing. And you'll see this setting called Visualize Sound Effects. And if you turn that off, you'll be enabling your PC audio and you'll be turning off the mobile audio. So you will no longer see the footsteps, the shot animations on your screen, which will take a lot of getting used to for sure. But this is the only setting you have to change. And once you turn that to off, you'll have PC audio on your mobile device. As you can see what it says is turns the visual radial indicator for some sounds on slash off. When on, you will see the visual radial indicator for some sound, but in-game sound will no longer pan or provide spatialization. And that's the key with this. The spatialization is the biggest thing for the PC audio, in my opinion. You'll kind of be able to hear where and how far away everything is. This is especially helpful for the crouch walkers and anything that is kind of tricky for sound. End game when there's a lot of sound, you'll hear the close sounds and you won't just see a bunch of stuff on your screen telling you kind of how many different things are. It'll more or less allow you to hear how close the important things are. From here on, I'm going to be analyzing gameplay from a regular solo I played, fighting against mostly AI bots while using PC audio. And I'm going to be giving my key tips on where I think PC audio is super, super helpful and where I think it is not as helpful. I just want to start off by saying, in general, I think there's definitely way more advantages to PC audio than disadvantages. It just is going to take a lot of time to get used to. I think places like Authority or wherever there's a lot of people landing and there's a lot of stuff going on, whether it's a lot of like bots, like henchmen and footsteps and that kind of stuff. So like in Authority, there's usually so many footsteps and shots around everywhere that using PC audio is super helpful because you can hear where there's a real player or where there's just like another bot and that kind of stuff. I think it's super useful there. I also think it's super helpful, obviously, as I said, for crouch walkers because you'll be able to hear them no matter what if they're crouch walking. So if you're in a place where there's a lot of people, you'll be able to hear them. If there's not a lot of people, you'll still be able to hear them just because you'll get used to hearing the sound effects people make when they move around, whether they're walking normal or if they're crouch walking. A couple of disadvantages I did notice is stuff like zip lines, boats, or cars. You will not be able to get those visual indicators that you are used to so those you will not be able to pick up on as easily but a lot of the stuff that makes noise you'll still be able to know so basically zip lines is probably the biggest disadvantage but other than that there really isn't that many disadvantages it does just take time to get used to it as i said earlier getting used to it is probably the hardest part personally i don't think i'm going to be using this because when I use the Bluetooth headphones that I have, people say my mic sounds weird, so I don't want to stream if my mic sounds weird. But if I wasn't going to be streaming a lot, I'd probably be just practicing using these Bluetooth headphones and getting used to using PC audio because I think there's so many advantages with this as far as competitive play goes. And I think it's pretty clear that it's a bigger advantage to use PC audio. Otherwise, all the PC pros would be using the visual sound effects that mobile players use. 
they know that they are going to be at a higher advantage using the PC audio. So I think that mobile players should definitely test it out. Test it out for yourself to see how you like it, if you think it's something you want to pursue. If it's not, then definitely just keep using the visual indicators. There's nothing wrong with that at all. If you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, sub if you're new, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.